Today we will learn about transversal and angles made by transversal. You might have seen a railway line in which one line intersect two lines. A line that intersect two or more lines in one plane at different points is called a transversal. Now look at this figure. Here Line Z is intersecting line X and line Y at different points. That's why line Z is a transversal. Transversal Z forms eight different angles with these lines. Let's discuss them one by one. Angles formed by transversal that are present in inner side of two lines are called interior angles. Here, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, and angle 6 are interior angles. Similarly, angles present on outer side of two lines are called exterior angles. Here, angle 1, angle 2, angle 7, and angle 8 are exterior angles. In this, angle 3 and angle 6 are interior angles but are on the same side of the transversal. Similarly, Angle 4 and angle 5 are also interior angles on the same side of the transversal. So, we say that these are pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal. We know that these are interior angles. In this, angle 4 and angle 6 have different vertices. Both are present on inner side of transversal and they are on opposite sides of transversal. Such type of angles are called alternate interior angles. Try to identify the other pair of alternate interior angle. Now, let's talk about exterior angles. In this, angle 2 and angle 8 have different vertices. Both are present on outer side of the transversal as well as they are on opposite sides of the transversal. Such angles are called alternate exterior angles. Here, angle 1 and angle 7 are also the pair of alternate exterior angle. In this, angle 2 and angle 6 have different vertices and both are present on the same side of transversal. While angle 2 is exterior angle and angle 6 is interior angle, that is they are in corresponding positions. Such angles are called Corresponding angles. Here, these are also the pair of corresponding angles. We know that the two lines which never meet with each other are called parallel lines. When transversal intersects two parallel lines, then all pairs of corresponding angles are equal. All the pairs of alternate interior angles are equal. As well as the pair of interior angles on the same side of transversal are supplementary. Therefore, to check that two lines are parallel or not, we should check for these properties. If a transversal intersect two lines so that each pair of corresponding angles are equal, then the lines are parallel. Similarly, if each pair of alternate interior angles are equal, then the lines are parallel. If each pair of interior angles on the same side of transversal are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. So, I hope that you have understood the concept very well. Thanks for watching this video.